Hello once again guys, it is Dicaos1 here, I'm going to be bringing you game number... I can't even remember what number this is from my quest for platinum, but hey, I'm back, new season, this is actually the first game I played, and wow, that was a weird lag, I'm actually going to speed up this beginning here, there's nothing really happens, but to introduce the players, we have down here in the bottom left position, Camelowen. And that is the blue Protoss, and I am going to be up here as the red Zerg. Dicaos 1 in the top right position. This is Entombed Valley, and my spawning pool is down really early. Six Zerglings on the way. Oh my goodness, what is happening? I'll, I'll tell you what's happening. I'm going for an 8 pool. And uh, let's just slow this down a little bit here. And yeah, like I said, 8 pool. I got a bunch of Zerglings on the way coming down to my opponent's base here he does he well he did see that um that my zerglings were on the way he does go for a forge fast expand he's got the forge down he's got the cannon down along this ramp which is this um this map is really it's really um oh gosh what's the word i'm looking for uh oh sorry yeah Forge fast expanding is really popular in this map. You can see I only get end up getting like six Zerglings into his base, which might as well be a six pool. But at this point in time, you know, he's got enough workers to easily defend that off. <laughs> and I mean, I killed three of his units, so that's three probes for six Zerglings. Which I mean, that's a fair trade. But I put out a lot more Zerglings early on, and so that. All in all, it really wasn't beneficial for me to do that. And he is throwing down cannons at my natural, forcing me to cancel that because he knows, as well as I know, that I don't have what I need to be able to take something like this out. He's got a probe just, or a probe was chilling in space. There he is. He's running out there now. But I do throw down my roach warren. I think to myself, all right, I, there's no way I'll be able to throw down my, uh, throw down the base of my natural here. So I'm going to get some Zerglings, some Roaches, and possibly go for either an attacker or take down these rocks here and go for the third base, which really is probably the best decision. For all you Zerg players out there, if a Protoss player or a Terran player blocks your natural, if you're going for like a 15 hatch or something, just go for that third base as soon as possible. That way you can very easily just come out of it almost as though nothing has happened. And you can see my Roach Warren's finished. I'm getting my Gas Geyser right now. Um, it's a little bit late, but I mean, it doesn't really matter too much. And it, yeah, it's like it's not making much of a difference. He doesn't even have his gateway complete yet. Um, he's going to be throwing down a pylon here. Uh, I don't really know why. Maybe it's just so he can help wall this off a little better by throwing down another gateway or a cybernetic core or something along those lines. But this gateway's almost done here. I do have another two pairs of lings on the way. You can see all these zerglings are coming down here to take out these rocks. Which basically what I'm going to do is take out the rocks and then grab my expansion. Because I obviously can't grab it right here. It'll get taken out rather quickly, especially with two cannons on the field. Um, another option would be to put like a ex expo, not expo, ninja expansion. There we go, like up in one of the corners or down here or something like that. But I'm not going to be doing that. I just figure it's straightforward. Just take down the rocks throw down your hatch good to go and my opponent here is just starting just now starting to uh, mine from his expansion there so it's not really paying for itself just yet but his core does finish should be starting warp gate any minute now um, yep there we go warp gate tech is on the way so you can tell he's pretty going for a pretty standard protoss opener um, if I do say so myself it's probably what I see the most anyways nothing happens really here anytime soon so I am, am going to speed this up because it is a rather lengthy game uh, I do slight engagement down here take out that zealot only losing one one zergling which is very beneficial for me um, I need to sneeze really badly so if I do I'm very sorry you can see my my uh, third base is down I do have <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. I have saturated that pr almost immediately. Um, I do th throw down an Evo Chamber, start getting my Lair Tech, start getting some Roaches out now. And you can see my opponent here is... I'll slow this down here. He does warp in units, which is very smart. But too bad for him. I was prepared for 
an attack. I do have zerglings and roaches in my base. You can see these ones up here. I do, he does end up surrounding me on my ramp, which is kind of weird, but uh, whatever. He, he's throwing down his his a pro another proxy pylon right here. If I was him, I would definitely would have placed that right about here because he can't really warp anything in on that little strip of land there. But he is warping in stalkers, which stalkers are pretty good against roaches. Well, they're not bad anyways. Not against mass numbers of roaches, but <laughs> they can't do much against zerglings. And due to my roach speed on the way, since my l layer tech is complete, I haven't started any upgrades just yet. And I can't remember. Does he have? Yeah, he does have plus one at this point. So his units definitely going to be doing lots of damage to me. But he does this really weird thing here. He doesn't stick with his cannons, and I noticed that he moved his units over. So instantly, I try to get it surrounded as many as I can, able to pick off four or five, four or five stalkers without even hardly losing that much because he didn't uh, sit back with the cannons, and he's just warping in more units. If you look at the units lost up here, um, he is he has lost more resources because pretty much all he's killed of mine is zerglings and zerglings. Well, are rather cheap, and again, he moves all of his units down out of the way here. He does get a nice warp in, though, with that pylon. Uh, my Zerglings are doing a fair bit of damage against these stalkers here, but again, he's able to warp in more units on the low ground because he has a, two pylons, and my, I am forced to pull back with my roaches, but I do have five roaches on the way. His, uh, his blink is coming in, though. Eight roaches just about complete. These roaches here are going to make a valiant defense right on the ramp. Let's see, taking out those zealots really quickly. Back in his base here. He doesn't have too much. He's throwing on gateways. Definitely going for a very gateway heavy army. And I've pretty much defended this off with no problem. He's getting zealots right now, but zealots do not do the damage they need to against roaches. And this is going to be a very successful defense on my part. It's not warping in any more units right now because he sees that there's really no hope, and I do start my burrow tech, going to be getting some burrow micro going, although I don't really use it all that much. I'm surprised actually he does, hasn't thrown down his uh, his next, his third base, seeing as he is floating around 1400 minerals, which is quite a bit. I'd be throwing down a base, maybe even a, uh, maybe even a couple more warp gates just to get stuff done here. And he, yep, now he's <laughs> taking down those rocks really late, mind you. And I am going to be taking care of these cannons and throwing down my third as well. So I'm going to be on my third base. And this is a really scary moment for the Protoss because he's been on, on one extra base for longer than I have. And he really hasn't done been able to do any damage to me. So it's kind of a scary idea. I am ahead of him in supply by quite a bit. But probably most of that supply is going to be... um the roaches and the zerglings I have is my uh, drone counts sorry for swinging that way out of the way it's pretty low I sh definitely should be droning a little bit harder right now um, because I am getting my third base of course I'm gonna need to be able to transfer units over very quickly and again my Protoss opponent here is just not doing anything with the amount of minerals he has uh, he should be throwing down pylons cannons you know He's got all the minerals. You might as well. You should be spending them. Uh, he's getting close to mined out in his main. So am I, though. But I have decent saturation. I should be. Well, I will be using four geysers. But you see here, he's getting at the dark shrine. Where is that? Where's that sneaky bastard? There he is, right there. That dark shrine. Um, so he's going to be going for some. Obviously, some DTs. Going to be warping them into. Um, into archons later on. Probably shouldn't have spoiled that for you guys, but that's okay. Oh, there we go. And, um, yeah, so right, basically at this point, nothing really that major is happening, just getting upgrades. So, I'm, again, I'm going to speed this up a little bit because it is a lengthy game. Um, see right now a little bit of transfer going down to my third base here. My opponent here is, see, he's uh, very smart, throwing down some cannons, a couple more gateways, still sitting at a lot of... With a lot of minerals. He has quite a few DTs, mind you. And I do go for a bit of an attack here. I, I want to see what's going on. But I do realize he does have DTs. A little bit too late, he does manage to kill off a fair bit of units. 
and I do of course pull out of there because I know that is not a safe place to be and instantly as soon as I find out that he has the DTs I start building five overseers which pr is probably too much but I mean I don't want to <laughs> I don't I I'm trying to play it safe this is my first game back I mean just trying to not make very many mistakes I do throw down a sport crawler right here build my units get some regeneration going on those roaches which is really handy um, I should have much better saturation here in my third base of course I do have over a thousand minerals and 700 gas so there's really no reason that I should um, be sitting back as much as I am see my opponent here so I'm going to proxy pile on at the Zell Naga Tower very safe decision you guys have the DTs and the Zelts will be able to make short work of any army I have if I don't have detection but I do have 19 roaches on the way he's got about five six stalkers there and he's just basically doing the same thing I am at this point macroing up building up a bit of an army um, again, though he's sitting on a lot of minerals. He has a lot of minerals this game that he's not spending. I think if he had spent that his uh, minerals a little bit better, he would have been able to do quite a bit more, uh, quite a bit more damage. And there's no overseers on the field. If we get units type here, not one single overseer. Um, so he's actually kind of blind to what I'm doing right now, which is definitely not a position you want to be in as a Protoss. Oh, here we go. We got this engagement coming down here. You can see the uh, the Dark Templars doing quite a bit of damage until my Overseers get in here and then just get taken out because they only have like, what is this, um, 40 health. I mean, that's about the same amount of health as an SCV. But you can see this Dark Templar in the back here just getting all sorts of kills. He's got two kills. Uh, will he be able to get a third? No, he does not. He gets taken out. And his army, he just doesn't have enough to deal with what I have right now. I'm getting my hive tech on the way. I have 22 zerglings incoming, um, so that'll be it'll be very easy for me to take out this army here. There's n really not much I can do. He does have blink uh, research. I don't know why I didn't try to blink out of there, but um, yeah, basically the thing with blink though is if I get some infestors, it pretty much renders blink useless, which I do plan on getting infestors at some point. Festers, of course, are really awesome. Um, I got another four roaches in the way, getting some upgrades. And see, here he is. He's getting his archons in. Whereas that guy, yep, right here, he's got gonna have two archons. Archons, of course, are really good against zerglings, uh, since, since they do have the splash damage and they do that splash damage versus zerglings, especially when they're all in there. I don't have the two armor upgrade on them though, but um, that's perfectly fine. I'm getting the plus one attack for my. Circlings. I'm getting a spire on the way as well as six infestors coming in now. I am now, me personally, I'm sitting at around 2,000 minerals, which is absolutely crazy. I definitely should be throwing down some macro hatches. Um, whoa, that was. Yeah, anyways, I should be throwing down macro hatches, throwing down a fourth base. Uh, 22 minutes. Actually, I should have a fifth, maybe even a sixth base at this point in time. Um, I do. Uh, I am starting my plus three ground. Um, defense or ground armor whatever you want to call it I am like literally double his supply right now um, all he has really is some stalkers a couple archons he is warping in some units right here uh, a couple more DTs to make another archon and then those four stalkers he is almost completely mined out of his main he's not taking a fourth base his upgrades though are pretty nice I must say he's three and one which is pretty much I don't know. I, I'm I'm two two and one for my units, but I mean, I need to worry about uh, melee attack and all that all that stuff. See how I am going in for a bit of an assault. I tried to see if he was going in for a third base, which he definitely was not. My infestors here are coming in with my roaches. I should be throwing down a couple fungals here. Yeah, that's right, a couple of nice fungals, stopping those um, just stopping those zealots from not zealots, sorry, those stalkers from getting. Out of there, there's the GG, GG well played, very nicely mannered opponent of mine here, and uh, that is game. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you send your replays into dikeos1 at hotmail.com, and um, see you on the ladder.